Okay, let's make this quick motion graphics animation under five minutes. Let's start with the plane. To make the text editable, we're going to use geometry nodes. Don't worry, geometry nodes is going to be a very small part of this. All we need is a string to curves. Connect that and just expose the string input so that you can easily edit the string directly from here. Now, you can type in anything. Let's say bool for booleans or hello. Just going to rotate it on the X 90 degrees. To make it fill, we can use a fill curve node. And now we can also extrude it with an extrude mesh, but uh, you see that uh, the backside looks like that. Uncheck in the video and to fill the backside, just merge this with this, holding down Ctrl Shift, drag and that to join the two pieces like that. After that, we want to round off the edges. So I will use bevel edges. The geometry nodes will disappear because we have the bevel node selected. If you want to go back, you just select this. One thing you will notice is that uh, the bevel doesn't seem to work. And the reason for that is that uh, since we're using strings to curve here, each letter is its own instance. So we need to realize this first to have the bevel work. You also notice that uh, the, this backside here looks weird because we have the normals facing the wrong direction. So I'm going to come to this here, uh, these faces here and flip them, flip faces before they get merged. And uh, then we shall have something like that. Now, this side doesn't have a bevel because it's a, this is a separate mesh. And if I use a scale element, you see that uh, these are separated from this. So what I want to do is merge are the two pieces and uh, now I have a bevel that I can control around. You can add a shade smooth around there and just use the side as the selection from the extrude to have some things like that. The extrusion is too much so I'll just bring it about there, add an array, make a few instances. Ah, that's good. You want to leave some spaces between each instance. We're going to create our boolean that is going to cut out these. Go to edit mode and just Create a wave like this, add subdivision surfaces, extrude in the Z direction like that. Give this some thickness, about the same width. Just make sure it doesn't intersect with the next row of the text. We want the edges to be sharp, so I will just use, use Shift E to make sure they're sharp. Use a Boolean, select this. Make sure you use fast. Now, if I hide this for a second by changing its viewport display to wire, you can see if I animate it, I basically create that wave see what we're having so i'm going to add an array to the boolean and this is going to be using an object offset and uh, the object offset is going to be an empty i can select it make sure it has the right rotation so i'm going to rotate it on the x make sure the origin of the empty is at the same position as the origin of the cutter and just offset the y position so that each layer has a cutter like that and now if you offset these this on the z you get that cascading effect give them a nice animation you can reveal the text now for the material you can't just apply uh, the material directly like this after your boolean create a new geometry node and use a set material and then set in material you want and that will be applied if you want each layer to have different a different material you can use a geometry node like that and use the position this will give you some colors like this you can separate these colors so that the x y and z give you a different gradient we're going to use the z as a gradient and if i use a ramp set this to constant i can use this to choose a different color for each layer but I, you can see we only have a very small range to work with so to scale that up i can add a math node with the option multiply so that i have a higher range to work with i can change the color of this just adjusting the colors and you just have to match the positions of this so that uh, there is no colors bleeding over to the next layer you can also just add a hue and saturation uh, so you can change uh, the hue to get a different to get different colors that's how i did the color thing the text is still editable so that's good if you want to slow down the animation make sure you have the empty and the array selected and just of the keyframes otherwise the timing is going to be off the rest 
is lighting project files are going to be on my patreon youtube membership and gumroad all links are in the description make sure to like and subscribe for these daily motion graphics tips don't forget to check out physical starlight and atmosphere your solution for skies in uh, blender you can see you get a ton of settings and uh, a ton of presets that you can choose from you don't have to do a lot of tweaking but uh you can you but you can if you want to it's miles ahead compared to the sky texture that comes with blender you even have an option to add two suns uh yeah, yeah this is really amazing uh it has a lot of presets and a lot of settings you can choose from you have great control of shadows uh clouds everything uh, that you could ever need so if uh, this is something that you want to test out uh links are going to be in the description thank you